Am I on finally? There were 12 people on some other thing, but I couldn't get from there to the live chat. So I had to start another one. Oh, I hope y'all find me. <laughs> Nobody's here yet. They're all on some other one. Maybe I have two going simultaneously. We shall see. Huh. Hey, if y'all are here. All right. Hello, if you are here. I'm still figuring this out. Bear with me. There was another live thing going on, but I couldn't get in it. And so I had to start this one. I'm still learning. Bear with me. This is very strange. I can't get to the other one to tell those people I had to start a new one. I wonder if anyone's here. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Douglas. Hey, Ju. Hey, people are here. This is exciting. Oh, my God. I started a fire, but I'm blocking it. Oh, <laughs> England is here. Yay. Cool. I need a paper and pen, which I did not bring. Did y'all bring paper and pen? Can you get me a paper and pen? Hey, the kitties are here. Maybe they'll show up too. Happy solstice, y'all. Oh, Japan is here. Hey, Isan. Did I say that right? Isan. Hello. Hey, Ju, we need to let everyone, I know, they're, I messed this up, because I don't know how to get over there. I tried, and it wouldn't let me. I said it right. Yay. Cool. Isan, can you get to, I mean, uh, Ju, can you get to the other one? I tried to get over there, and I couldn't. Go, Ju, from Sweden. Thank you. Happy Yule to you, too. Thanks, honey. This is crazy. Look at all the countries that are here. Oh, I'm glad, Sonny. Yay. Oh, that's good to hear. We'll start in just a second. There's a lot of people that said they wanted to come. When I watch live videos, I'm like, oh, why don't they just get to it? If everybody's late, it's their problem. And now that I'm doing it, it's like, I want the people to get here. Ah, <laughs> oh, Shroomy Schmatty. Hello. How are you? Cool. You made it. Thanks, you for sending a message. I appreciate that. Oh, Cynthia, you're in Sparta. I've been through Sparta. Oregon, representing. Yeah, there's still folks in the other one. <sighs> hey, Wayne, thanks for letting me know. Y'all let me know if you're tired of waiting, and we'll just start whenever y'all say we should start. We just had that glitch with the people that are in the other one trying to find this one, which is totally my fault. Sonny's got tea. I meant to make a hot chocolate, but I got busy cooking. Maybe my house elf will make me a hot chocolate. <laughs> or the cats could tear the house. <laughs> oh, the cats know something's up. They want attention. Hi. Oh, hi from Poland. I can't say your name. I am so sorry. Wozak, that's your last name, but I can't say your first name. I'm sorry. I can't believe Shroomy's here. Douglas Snow, how are you? <laughs> I said your last name right. Awesome. Cool. It is a groovy times, right? All right. Well, we'll get started while people are trying to make it over. Hey, Thorin. Derek, I didn't know you were in France this whole time. I thought you were Canadian. Weird. Hey, turtle. Did I find? Oh, yeah. Did you in, in Sparta find good mushrooms? I can say Shemek. Yes. Shemek. P-R-Z is 
Sh, got it. Shemek, easy enough. Greetings from the Netherlands. Did you know that I lived in the Netherlands for a summer? I worked on a flower farm in Akersloot, which is outside of Alkmaar. And I loved it. It was an amazing experience. And I wanted to, when I came home, my goal was to eventually be able to buy a house in Alkmaar. I love your country. I love the Netherlands. What a beautiful place. I spent all my time saying, Doc Snuppy, can you didn't speak Netherlands, speak English. I learned stuff and eventually started dreaming in Dutch, which was crazy. Sussex representing. Hey, Nick. That's two people from Poland. Hey, Dublinek. Vermont. Cool. Hey, Tyler. Oh, Sunny. Cool. I didn't bring any uh, Amanita to drink. I think some party people were hoping I'd get all messed up on Amanita, but I got plans tonight. I can't sleep through it. Antonine. Uh, what is that language, Antonine? Latvia. Cool. We got a lot of people from Slavic countries here. Hey, Richard. Howdy. Berlin. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, my, my thing is telling me to watch myself live. I'm on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Grim Reaper. What is GRE? Y'all ready to start? Are you bored? I'm trying to say hi to people. I didn't know this many people were going to show up, y'all. This is insane. I thought nobody would come. Glenn from the UK. Portugal, cool. It is seven. All right. Yeah, we got people going in both directions on the time zone thing. Jason, thanks for the Amanita. Hey, Olan. Okay, I got to stop saying hi to people or I'll just do this the whole time, just talk to y'all. So what I wanted to do, there's several things I wanted to do um, to celebrate solstice. I have ways that I celebrate solstice and I know everyone around the world celebrates it differently. Aw, thanks, Tyler. <laughs> and I want to wait to do this part because it's it's important. So we'll do it around... 2.30 my time-ish in about 20 minutes. And so one of the things that I wanted to do was talk about the Yule log. I have one here. I just need a lighter. I didn't bring a lighter. Maybe my house elf will bring me a lighter. <laughs> Thank you. So I was, I'm very earth-based. And one of the things that I understand now more than anything is the, the tide of the earth and the tide of the sun and the light. And I first understood it when Hurricane Katrina happened. I, I'm a victim of Hurricane Katrina. And immediately we're th we were thrown into darkness for two weeks. We had no electricity. And it's crazy how quickly you adapt to the sun and the cycles of the sun. And that was in the summer. So we had long days. But ever since then, I really enjoyed that. It gave me a lot. It taught me a lot more than I can tell you here. But one of the amazing things that I took away from that experience was how far removed I was from the earth. And that was the beginning of me learning to get connected to the earth. Hey, baby, you can't do that. <laughs> this is Hannah Banana. She's four months old. And so in getting closer to the earth, not only do I really like the sun, <laughs> I, I try to turn lights down in the evening instead of everything up and bright. And I like candlelight and <laughs> thank you. And so in the winter, it, it seems like there's lots of darkness and Amanita put me on that weird schedule of getting up at four in the morning. And so there's hours of darkness in the morning now. And I understand now why solstice was so important in the return, because as you know, this is now the shortest day of the year by sunlight or conversely tomorrow begins the lengthening of the days and the exposure to the sun and so the darkness can really be long lonely and scary if you didn't have a sturdy home and predators and all of that and it can be i think a hard survival in a long winter with long nights 
And I understand now why they really enjoyed the return of the sun and how important and pivotal this was and to celebrate it. And to celebrate, then they would bring in a log or a tree. They would fell a tree, sacrifice a tree. And trees were important. You needed them for firewood. You needed them for warmth. You needed them for cooking. And you needed them to build things with your, your structure that you were safe inside. So trees were a valuable commodity. And to show that that sacrifice to the earth and, and the importance of that tree, they'd sacrifice a tree, bring it in and burn it over a 24 hour period. That's the tradition of bringing the tree in the house. And so we sort of shortened it to a log, a Yule log. So the Yule log represents lighting the log and celebrating the return of the light. So I'm gonna light my Yule log if any of you have one or have a candle. Light it with me, shall we? I'll get my Yule log. Come on, Yule log. I put, they decorate theirs, but I'm so non-creative. I didn't know how to decorate and it seemed like a fire hazard to put a bunch of greenery on it. So I shall light my Yule log. Happy Yule. Here we go. Usually I'll be, be doing this tonight with my family. We'll light it again tonight. Here we go. The Yule log is lit. Pretty, isn't it? Yay. All right, I will set you here. I know y'all can't see it, but it's lit. Okay, let me pay attention to you guys really quickly and say hi. Uh, David. Hi, David. Hey, Eric. Thanks for the heart. Yes, yeah, Shroomy, you're at work. You told me you'd be at work. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dre5T3K. Regrounding through the red fly, are you? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like the Yule Log. It's my uncreative attempt. <laughs> okay, so we've lit the Yule Log. And our tradition is that for solstice, it represents the end of a year and the beginning of another year. So I hope that you all have something to write with and something to write on, and you can play along with me if you'd like. So the tradition of having a New Year's resolution comes from this practice where you think about what you're leaving behind because you got a lot of time to think when you got long, dark nights, with no sun and you're bored to death, lots of time to talk. And I think that it was a time of clearing out fear and suspicion in a magical and mystical world and thinking about why things happened and things that you would like to leave behind. And so the first thing that we do is we write down something that we would like to leave behind things that we have power over. So for me, what I would like to leave behind in 2019 is fear of the unknown. I did a lot of unknownly fearful things like starting this channel and it's taught me not to fear the unknown. So what I think I'm leaving behind is fear of the unknown and embracing the unknown. So I'm leaving behind fear of the unknown, leaving, Fear of the unknown. And then the second tradition is to think about what you would like to create or become or work on in the new year. So it's not about losing weight or giving up caffeine. It's more of an internal thing. So I've been giving it a lot of thought and there's so many things that I want to embrace. But the thing that is, baby, the kitty cat. I know, baby, but you're going to break it. <laughs> so I think the biggest thing for me, this is really honest and vulnerable, but I have an attitude problem. So I made this channel because I really want to do right by this mushroom and bring good information into the world. You all know that. But there are people that really hang on to magical thinking. And I've run into so many of them and they get angry at me 
when I say, look, that, that's just not true. This is the science. And I have to find a way to make peace about that because I don't want to hurt people and I don't want to alienate people. But I get this attitude problem when people deny the science and they just want to hang on to myth or magical thinking just about the science part of it. Now, all the lore and all the joy and the mushroom voice, that is not up for discussion. However you feel about the mushroom, how you interact with it is highly personal. But when it comes to the science, like I'm, I need to get over myself and this attitude problem I have. So in 2020, I want to have compassion because there's a reason someone needs to hang on to what it is they hang on to. If they don't like the science about it, there's a reason. And they're not bad people and they're not trying to just be mean to me. They have a reason in their heart that they need to hang on to what they're hanging on to. And whatever that reason is, they came by it honestly. And I love the humans. So I feel bad about my attitude problem. And my goal is to find the love and the compassion and get rid of the judgment. Because judgment is never a good thing. That's what I want to bring into 2020. I shall write it down. You write down what you want to bring into 2020. Yes, you do, Sonny. You need to write it down. <laughs> because we're going to do something with it. If y'all aren't writing it down, you need to write it down. Nature is God, therefore we should submit to fully know it. Ah, oh, well said, Richard. I agree. Ah, oh, Ollie, thank you. Happy holidays to you. Sol Invictus, unconquered sun. Do we ever conquer the sun, Bill? Hi, Daniel Boxing fan, new subscriber from the UK. Cool. Looking forward to getting stuck into the shroom hunting. Oh, stuck is a damn good word, man. <laughs> oh, I know, Richard. Well, instead of forgiving, I want to have love and compassion. So, compassion for science deniers. Okay, I have grounded it. So, here we go. Take your paper that you have written on, and this is what the tradition is. You take those things, and when you put them in the fire, they go to the gods, to the earth, to anchor it and make it so. So I am going to put mine in the fire, and this is where you listen to everyone say what theirs are in your little circle that is around you, but we have so many people. Uh, Mr. Mr. Peoples of former Yugoslavia, some of the first Accord Amity users in recorded history, South Sonic Coachella Valley. Look, let me tell you about that. Um, okay, Wozak, hang on just a second because I just read yours too. I am a little hippie. <laughs> Peace, man. <laughs> Richard. Okay, so Mr. Mr., look, let me tell you. I am only second generation American. My grandfather is from Yugoslavia and we were gypsies and we were the, the music gypsies and storytellers, fortune tellers, that kind of thing. There were also the medicine gypsies that came through. And what I think happened, I may be wrong about this, but what I think happened is during solstice celebration, all of the gypsies that would come through throughout the year came together in different regions at different places including the medicine ones. So the medicine ones would bring the Amanita and then my people, the musicians and the storytellers, we would bring the entertainment. So I have a very strong connection to Yugoslavia, to the Slavic countries, and I haven't been back there. I've been speaking to some of my relatives there. And one of my goals in 2020 is to get to the European continent. And I really hope to be able to get to some Slavic countries. And so maybe some of you can stay in touch with me and I can meet you and we can forage together because that would be very meaningful to me. All right. I want to bring more the way thinking I'm leaving sadness, anxiety, and anger. Wow. That's profound. They confuse science seems against lore, which is not at all the case. At least it doesn't seem at all like it. Right, right, right. I agree. 
Hey Wayne, that's what I'm having trouble with. And, and the shaman will come to my channel and chastise me and shame me for not having any spiritual connection. Like they, people like to make people two-sided or one-sided or simplistic when we are all highly complex beings. And it's frustrating to me. Derek. Okay. Look, <laughs> I ate raw Amanita. It's on video. I am in the middle of editing the video, y'all. It was 45 minutes long. So every day I open it up and I work on it. So look, I'll even prove it to you. I'm thinking about uploading it for New Year's Eve. So look, see right here? Raw. Well, you can't read it, but that word says raw. See, this is iMovie and these are all my projects. So this one I'm, I'm working on. It. I'm editing it. So I don't want to talk about it other than say people are going to think that like all the other people that come to this channel, they think it's a party channel and they come here for the party and they get mad at me when I didn't drink my own urine on the urine video, which I took that shit down. And then they get mad at me on the recreational dosing because I'm not glorifying it. They get mad at me on my trip video because it wasn't trippy enough. Um, my trip report. So no doubt when I do the raw video, I'm going to catch so much shade for that crap. So I got to do it when I've got time to deal with all the haters because I don't know, people just need entertainment and a party. I'm not opposed to a party. I ate it raw, not knowing what I was going to get, but y'all, what I got was nothing less than profound and life changing, but for different reasons than people think I didn't throw my guts up. I didn't get sick at all. So it was pretty. Mitchell, what? Holy crap, I got a super chat. Mitchell, thank you. Oh my God. Oh, well, you're very welcome. Aw. And he didn't even ask a question. He just wanted to say thanks. You're so sweet, Mitchell. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm honored. Okay, let me see if I can scroll back in the comments. So Mitchell, say if you want something, I will address you if you have a question. You can type it in. My nose is running because I'm sitting by the fire. Um, let me, who all did I miss? All right, Derek, I spoke about eating it raw. If you want me to say anything else about it, I'll, I'll try, but I'd really rather leave it for the video. Dang, I wrote all my goals in my calendar. <laughs> don't burn your meeting, Sonny. But hey, if you do, oh, well, now you don't have to go. That part about gypsies is true from Serbia. I don't want to come to Serbia. Well, I mean, I know about your country. I know it's rough. But the entire region isn't, is it? Tell me, Grim Reaper, if there's a good area that I can go to, a safe area. You're welcome, Mr. Mister. Come to Poland. We have great Amanitas here, and I really like your approach. Okay. I've always wanted to visit Poland. I've seen pictures from there. Really, really beautiful country. Like, really beautiful country. Okay, let me scroll down. Lithuania. I also want to go to Lithuania. I need to just go spend like a month. Except people are telling me I can't. I shouldn't go. Have a nice Christmas, everyone. Oh, go watch your boxing. Thanks, Daniel. Okay, I'm caught up. So, oh, it's getting hot by this fire. I'm melting. Yikes. I'm melting. I got to scoop my table back. I didn't count on this fire being so hot. I'm <laughs> slowly moving everything backward. Okay, that's better. Okay, so if you all have what you wrote on your paper, it's time to burn it. Y'all ready? We're going to send it to the gods. Say goodbye to 2019 and hello to what we wish to be. You ready? Mwah. Here it goes. Bye, 2019. Hello, attitude adjustment. I'm going to be a kinder, more compassionate human. Yay. Let me read hello from Russia. Russia, there are so many people from Russia on my channel. And it's so exciting. I want to go to Russia. It's safe for visitors, but the whole region is fucked up. That sucks. The leg legacy of the beaker people. Real truth about one. The beaker people. Okay, I'm going to look that up. I'll write that down and I'll look it up later. Beaker 
people. Well, y'all aren't even asking questions. I figured y'all would be keeping busy with questions. So did you burn your papers? Do y'all have a way to burn them? Did you burn them? Oh, wow. Thank you for the, oh my God, another one. So y'all must not be able to write in your super chats. Fist bump. Aw, you're freaking awesome, man. I forgot how to say your first name. Z. It's P-R-Z is Z Shemek. Sh or Z Shemek. Shemek Wozak. Wozak. You'd think that I'd have a natural genetic ability to say it correctly. Yes, we burnt the past. Thank you for that super chat. That's so sweet. Y'all are awesome. This is so new to me and so weird. It's hard to accept such gifts. Oh, but it is the gifting season, right? Okay. So ask questions. Shemek, thank you. Okay. Got it. Got it. Wozak. Shemek Wozak. I got it. <laughs> cool. English is just so completely different from your language. Oh, Sonny, it's my honor. Thank you for sharing it with us. It's freaking awesome. You're logging off. Okay, Tyler, thanks for coming in and saying hi. <mwah> Bye. Okay, so, ah, oh, hot chocolate time. What are y'all drinking? Mm, mm, mm. Northwest, U.S., Fort Stevens Park, west of Portland, has bright red amanitas. Y'all have got, always got bright red amanitas. Y'all got the best of everything, Bill. I've never been to the PNW, but man, is it on my list. It's so beautiful. There's so much of the world I want to see. So I was reading the lore, you know, about Santa Claus and all that stuff. And then the guy that made our forum, our website, his username is um, Amanita Research. That dude, if y'all ever want to know anything about lore and history, he's just an encyclopedia in his head, but he was telling me about it and it was so in depth and so informative and so much that I just couldn't follow it because history is not my thing. I'm so literal and science minded that when it comes to anything that resembles a story, I lose it. And, and I've done a lot of research and a lot of reading about it because it's just so fascinating, but I have something to say about the shaman thing and about Santa. So, let me catch up because y'all are scrolling really quickly here. So let me catch up. I'll talk in between reading. <sighs> Sorry, this is hard. I thought the chat would be bigger on my screen since I'm the one doing the video, but it is not. Shreemi, you still here? All right, there's the first super chat. Hello from Russia. Happy Christmas with the big yellow smiley face. I can't pronounce your name because your characters, I don't know how to pronounce your characters. I'm very sorry. Burnt the past, burnt the paper, logging off, Northwest, Amanita. Oh, have you ever taken Amanita Panther? I haven't. You're drinking the tea with the banana? I haven't. Um, I want to, but that the muscaria right now is telling me to commune with it for a while. I'm seeing all the way through 2020. Maybe in 2021, I'll have the go ahead to branch out into some of the other Amanitas. But I do have an experience with the destroying angel. I'll talk about that in another video. Hope to achieve optimal health. You obviously didn't watch my question and answer video. <laughs> um, oh, well, actually, I didn't address the single thing. I just said I wouldn't marry people. And I'm still not going to answer that question. Glenn Aldridge. May I very first batch of the medicine tonight? Oh, Glenn, awesome. Get on one of the videos and update us. Let us know how it went. The Ambrosia Live Beaker people were buried with their mugs. Really? Douglas, that is fascinating. I had no idea. It makes sense, though. The UK has the brightest as you think? I think some people would beg to differ with you, David. Yeah, the 
well, Santa was stolen from a lot of cultures, um, not only the Slavic culture, but also Siberia and some of the Nordic countries, Sweden, they had a version of it also. It's all kind of mushed together. And also the Sinterklaas from the Netherlands figured into it. A lot of stealing going on. Do I still do big doses? I've only microdosed because it's actually fear on my part, Nick, because that first dose was so profound and it did so much for me. And then the microdosing, I listened so carefully to my body about when to take it that I, I feel like if I did a really big dose again, I would fuck something up or something. I don't know. Um, maybe that's just stupid. But it, I, it's like I feel this balance. I don't know. Look, if you've ever lived with the level of panic and anxiety that I did for my whole life and I am now one year free of it, like I am so afraid to mess with that mechanism. I mean, probably it wouldn't. Let me think about that. You made me think about it. Probably need to challenge that. The wild one. Haven't been back yet in a while. Is the Amanita not back yet? I just ordered... I'm going to just hope these Slovakians are good people. <laughs> We're good people. Um, the, the Amanita map MAP, like the, the people that are trying to promote psychedelic use in medicine or just the map on the globe active yet. Hello, priest. Poland has all shades of red. I bet. I would love to see him. Yeah, the Norse, Douglas. Definitely them. David Harvey. Aw, thank you. You were suicidal and depressed. Free. Oh, my God. Thank you, Aileen. Oh, my God. Y'all are so sweet. Oh, my voice gets really high-pitched when I get excited. Sorry. Priest, suicidal and depressed for years. Dude, I feel you. First time I took shrooms, seven and a half grams, silver cow. It's one of the best things in my life. Cured depression from that dose for several freaking years. Y'all, there's so much wisdom in the mushrooms. I wish that the psilocybins weren't illegal here. I believe you, priest. I really do. And congratulations, right? Freedom. So, hey, Wayne, I guess that y'all can't write questions in your super chat. Thank you. You're welcome, hey, Wayne. Thank you. Truly. I have, you have to be in the right frame of mind. Microdosing can help a lot of problems. Yeah. Why don't I meditate on it, Douglas, on taking a large dose again? I'll meditate on it. I'd like to do it again. It was a blast. It was just heavy. Maybe I don't have as much to clean out this time around. It was just, God, man, it was so heavy, you know? But... Fun. <laughs> I'm microdosing. Well, it's not in grams. Did you see my video on how to make it? I make 15 grams, but then I break it up into four batches and then I freeze most of it. And then I take a quarter to, well, a quarter of a teaspoon at a time. So I don't know what that equals in grams. I'd have to do the math. It's not much. But I mean, there are times when I've taken it and I felt like I needed to take more and I'd take another. And then there were times where I was really stressed when I first started this channel and it really took off and I was freaking out every time I made a video. I probably took upwards of almost a teaspoon, which I don't know how that translates into a metric, which I should know. New Mexico, all mushrooms are legal. Are you sure about that? I haven't heard that. Frick, I need to go to New Mexico then. I'll look that up. I got to write that down. Every time y'all tell me something that I want to think about, I've got to write it down. The Beaker people, New Mexico, legal, and me taking a large dose again. Am I boring y'all? Yes, ma'am. Really? All right. Well, freaking okay then. Oh, decriminalized. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, Denver is. That's where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to raise enough money to be able to go there and then do psilocybin on camera and then compare it to Amanita with you guys. All right. 
Well, okay, then I'll look into it. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So here's the thing about the shaman. So what I can figure right now about shaman wearing red is red dye is extremely hard to come by in the world of natural dyes. And I, I don't think that shaman wore red. I understand they would probably like to, to celebrate the Amanita. And a lot of people do today, like the shaman that's in Waxaca, Mexico. Um, and then Shrimi Shmatty, he's got his yellow Amanita hat. It's freaking cool. Y'all need to go check him out. We'll talk about Shrimi Shmatty soon enough. But I understand that the shaman would probably want to honor that mushroom. But, you know, they dealt in other medicines. This wasn't the only one. And as important as this medicine was, I mean, they were they were medicine and spiritual healers. So with red dye being so hard to come by, I don't think that is the origin of Santa wearing red. And I don't believe they were able to get bright reds like that. And then I think Santa Claus from the Netherlands wore green. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're from the Netherlands. I think he wore green. So from what my understanding is, is it was actually Coca-Cola in the 1950s that came out with the bright red Santa, the red and white Santa, because it mimicked their colors. It was a big marketing thing. So that's that. We know about the Christmas tree. But the other thing that I want to debunk, which it seems like I'm always doing, I don't mean to, but I have tried to put Amanitas in fur, Douglas trees, conifer trees. They don't stay. They're very heavy. It's very hard to put them in the trees. And there's much better ways to dry them out, especially if it's snowing or really, really cold. There's better ways to dry them out. So I got questions about that. However, the fact that the Amanitas are bright red and they grow at the base of the tree, that does lend to the whole idea of presence under the tree. So I get that. The other thing is the idea that they would dry the Amanita in stockings in front of the fire. Y'all, I tried that and that doesn't work. It tears them up trying to get them in. And then if you get them in, they dry and then you pull them out and it tears them up. So I'm thinking that's not a thing. What I did do is tie some to twine and hang them. But then they were heavy and they slowly just tore through the twine and they fell apart. I think that I could probably take a needle and thread it through them and stack them oppositely, maybe. Anyway, I'm just thinking about these traditions and how the things that we do today, how we sort of co-opt everything and then we mix it with this culture and then this culture. And honestly, y'all, we cultures didn't know what other cultures were doing because we haven't really been able to travel and communicate globally until around the 50s or 60s when people could afford air travel. And even then it was only the really wealthy. So mostly it was National Geographic that started teaching people about other other cultures. So if you think about it, it's only been like one generation that we've truly been a global culture. So most of what Christmas is today is a bastardization of a mixture of different stories from around the world mixed with corporate culture driving advertisements that we've wound up with what we have about the Christmas story. That's my take on it. Okay, let me catch up. Uh, we, don't, don't worry for bored people. Okay. They're legal to eat fresh, but not for processing or exporting. Yeah. Mescaline. I've always wanted to try peyote. Yeah. I've been reading a lot about it too. I hear that those last for up to 12 hours. Did you hear about the dyslexic? Oh God, here we go. Did you hear about the dyslexic devil worshiper? He sold his soul to Santa. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. I want to remember that. I know one thing I'm finding somebody here in Louisiana. Yeah, that makes sense, Andre, because the temperature has worked its way down to where you are now, but you should be running out of time. Only state where it's illegal. I know, isn't that messed up? I don't blame you. You know, that's my old stomping grounds. Les les bon ton brûlé, my friend. You heard of the recipe? One part amanita, two parts sugar to make syrup. I have not. Three months before it's ready. Really? To make a homogenous substance slowly. Okay, look, if you just sit some mushrooms with some sugar, the mushroom's are going to rot. So do you add water? I want to know about this. Tell me, hey, Wayne, about it how to do this. Do you know where a link or something? Cause I'm definitely going to do that. Mine are all dried, but I can maybe put it with it dry. 
I just need to know how to do it. Okay, so I just ran on and on about this whole Santa thing. I understand almost all of it. I also have been reading a lot about the reindeer piss drinking thing. And I've read some good skeptic stuff that said that, first of all, you can't capture reindeer piss. Those things will hurt you. And second of all, they pee in the snow and they would eat the snow, except that their urine is hot and snow is cold. And it's just going to melt the snow and sink right into the ground. So I'm thinking they probably didn't drink reindeer piss. I'm thinking that's just an example of somebody reading something or hearing somebody say something or somebody making up something stupid. And then it just caught on and got spread like fake news or something. I don't know. I would have to actually speak to a shaman in Siberia. But I do know that the Siberian people have a very close relationship with the reindeer. Very close relationship. So, OK. Hey, Wayne, do that. Thank you. So they ate reindeer meat. They used their uh, pelts for clothing and for warmth and their bones for tools, the antlers for decoration and tools. They lived very close to them. They even rode them, could tame them and ride some of them. So, I mean, I, I don't guess it's unheard of to think that they could drink the urine. I mean, maybe if they had seen them eat the Amanita, before they hunted them or they hunted one to bring it in for the celebration and they took the urine out of the bladder. Although any living thing, when it dies, releases everything from its bowels and bladder. So I don't know about that. Anyway, I'm just thinking, musing out loud, the thing about Santa riding the sleigh though, now that makes sense because they could ride reindeer and they did use them to pull a sled to get things, you know, from place to place in the snow. So the shaman showing up, bringing medicines, including Amanita, but other things, riding a sleigh, makes sense. Unless they had the reindeer fenced in and waited. <laughs> but what are you going to do when they're, <laughs> if they're sitting there peeing, you're going to run in with a cub and kick you and kill you. They're huge. Bless, I guess, because still lots of buttons are popping out. Yeah, Andre, enjoy it while you can. So then the other thing, let's see, the reindeer, riding the reindeer, the sleigh. Oh, and y'all know the thing about Santa coming in through the, because they lived in yurts that have the big hole in the top so the smoke can go out. And if snow has piled up pretty high and they're in snowshoes, then they could toss things up into the hole at the top. And then for those cultures that had wooden walls of the house and they would be snowed in sometimes up to the roof then Santa could, Santa, shaman could scramble up and drop things down through the chimney. So that makes, that's plausible. That makes sense to me. What's up, Herb? <laughs> How are you? Herb tea. I got my, my uh, hot chocolate. I guess you got your tea. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about is to see what y'all thought about all of the Santa stuff and the connections to today and all of our Christmas traditions, because I got a lot of requests to discuss it. And then the Yule log and then the things that you wanted to let go of in 2019 and the things you wanted to bring in in 2020. So those are the things that I want to talk to you guys about. And I'm guessing y'all got other things to do. So maybe we'll wrap it up. The chat's slowing down. So shall we say goodbye? Or you want me to stick around? Because I don't have anywhere to be for another 15 minutes. Yeah, I've read that, Andre. I read it. <clears throat> oh, Herb, you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> JSB. No, I just got here. Well, you missed everything. I know. Okay, look, here's what we did for the latecomers. The Yule tradition, Solstice tradition, is to write down on a piece of paper what you want to let go of in 2019 and what you'd like to focus on and bring into your life in 2020. And we wrote it down on paper and then you burn it in your fire to send it up to the gods. So if you want to do that and you want to tell us what you wrote in here, you're Welcome to, but nobody did. Well, one person did. So, y'all want to see my fire and my Yule log? There's my Yule log right here in my nice fire. 
Let me think. Nice and cozy. So it's almost three o'clock here in North Georgia in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. And it's cold outside. Yeah, solstice does make more sense, right? I think that Confessions of a Hair Font on YouTube, it's a 3033. Okay. All right. I'll look it up. I think they have a website too. I don't know. Oh, thank you, Herb. I'm not much in decorating. I'm more of a nature decorator. Like my walls have driftwood. My picture frames are like raw wood frames and stuff. I decorate with seashells and rocks and stuff. I don't have much other kinds of decoration. Except that big picture, the hand, the Hindu hand that's on my table where I process my mushrooms. Half of the last decade. <laughs> my God, Anne's car. Yeah, well. <laughs> we do what we do have to do. Oh. Uh. Oh, Jew, I'm so happy. It's my pleasure. Thank you, my friend. Spores no good because it's mycorrhizal mushroom. It grows next to pines. Oh, okay. Priest, you mean at home? What do you mean at home? Priest, what did you? What are you referring to? How do you get the spores to start? Is it all right to just buy it from a website and shit seems sketchy? Are you talking about Amanita Priest? Oh, Derek's answering you. Are y'all talking about psilocybes? I'll stay out of conversation. How about that? You do this every full moon for a few. Oh, that's a good idea. Keep up with it monthly. <laughs> we are crazy. Bye, Andre. I'm glad you came. All right. Well, I'm not up on all that, priest. So maybe someone else can help you. I'm about the, the Amanita stuff. I can help you with that. Okay. Those are all of the things I wanted to say. And I wanted to tell you guys, um, can't grow Amanita in Texas. <laughs> no. I don't think Amanita. Well, there's a strip down the center of the United States where it doesn't grow. Mr. Mister, can we continue to cook lemon juice, fresh amanita, no water, till it can be turned to capsules? I don't understand the question. Slime, gently, because I hate the taste of savory tea. Cook lemon juice, fresh amanita, no water. Well, okay, I get what you're saying, because if you put fresh amanita in a pan, the walls will break and all the water will come out and add lemon juice to it, gently. So you're just talking about what you're basically talking about, Mr. Mister, is a way to do this, which most people don't do. And I don't really see it talked about, which I probably should do. And that is to cook the Amanita at a high temperature so that you break the cell walls and all that liquid that comes out. You get it off the heat quickly and you keep it the liquid. But it's going to taste pretty nasty, but maybe the lemon juice would make it taste better. And then it would be really highly concentrated. But then you couldn't put it in capsules because it would be a liquid. Leaving for a little trip, starting to kick in. Oh, yay, cool. So please do the chats. I'm sharing your videos. Oh, cool, thank you. I'll do more live chat. I was just really scared to do this one and I wanted to put it off as long as possible till I got more confidence on being on camera. People need elementary schooling on fungi. You can't grow it. Well, they weren't herb. They weren't talking about amanitas. They were talking about psilocybes. I think the amanitas here in British Columbia are so beautiful. Man, everything up there is so beautiful. Shut up. You flaunt it in our faces. <laughs> everything about your country is amazing. Oh, it is from Croatia. Well, now I want to know about it, Mister Mister. Can you send me a link or something where I can learn more about that method? I really want to know now because I really want to make it. Oh, JSB, you're welcome. Thank you. Get me that link about how to make that recipe. Please, Mr. Mister. If I turn this off and you haven't found a link or anything, will you drop it on one of my videos for me? 
Aw, Shreemi, you rock too, man. You're awesome. You wait till I tell everybody about you. I promise you I'd wait till January. So get your shit together so I can tell everybody about you. I want to send them your way. All right, y'all. I guess we should check on out of here. We've been on here for 50 minutes. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. All right, y'all. I'm going to check out. I love you, beautiful people. Thank you for coming here for Solstice. I have been looking forward to this for so long. I hope I didn't bore you. Oh, Simone, hey, any opinion about tinctures? Found them more potent than other. Yeah, it's going to be more potent. The nature of a tincture, it's really compact, you know. I think you and I talked about it, or I answered your comment when you commented on one of my videos. Bye, JSB. No fires at work. I'm saving my post-it notes for the plot fireplace at home. Good for you, Shroomy. I am there in my heart. Oh, Grim Reaper, thanks for the heart. I will, JSB. Miss Alice, I get it. I get the reference. Hi, Isan. You're very welcome. All right, y'all. I love you. Happy solstice. Happy end of 2019. And on Christmas Day, I will stop and hold all of you in my heart and probably every day <laughs> until the beginning of the year. Look for the eating raw. I'll probably put that up New Year's Eve. Be safe, people. Be happy. Love to all of you. Peace.